Hey viewers, warm greeting of the day. Welcome to Quill Learning Platform. Today we will see estimation quantity, survey and valuation. So most of the universities have similar syllabus for estimation quantity, survey and valuation. This is most useful for VDU and JNDU both universities. So first we'll take what is estimate. Estimate is the anticipated or probable cost of work and it is usually prepared before the construction is taken up. To prepare estimate, the following details require. Drawing consisting of a plan, elevation, section and through important points. Detail specification given specific description of all workmanship properties and proportion of materials here is the procedure followed for estimation first one the correct dimension are taken from the drawing that has been constructed before that has been drawn before the construction the quantities of various items calculated by simple measurements. These quantities are used to find the cost. Now we will see the purpose of estimate. The first foremost purpose will be to arrive a probable cost to be made ready for taking a project. To ascertain the quantities of material that is cement, sand, aggregate and also over. To ascertain the quantity of labors, how much, how many labors you require. To ascertain the quantity of tools, plants, and equipments. To fix up. To justify the benefits cost ratio. To invite tender, prepare bills for the payments. Now we'll see a different type of estimates. First estimate is preliminary estimate or we can say it is an approximate abstract estimate or rough cost estimate. Next one, plinth area estimate. Third one, cube rate estimate or cubical content estimate. Fourth one, approximate quantity method estimate. Detail estimate or item estimate. Revised supplementary estimate. Supplementary and revised estimate annual repair and maintenance estimate now we'll see one by one first we'll see prime preliminary estimate this is approximate estimate made to find out this is an approximate estimate made to find out an approximate cost in a short time and thus enable the responsible authority to concern to consider the financial aspect of the scheme for according to sanction to the same Approximate estimate prepare from the practical knowledge and cost of the similar work. The primary estimate may be prepared by various ways, such as per unit basis, that is, plant area basis, cubic content basis, and approximate quantity method. Now we'll move to second type of estimate, that is, plant area estimate. Plinth area should be calculated. For this estimate, plinth area should be calculated by taking external wall dimension of the buildings. Courtyard and open areas should not be included in the plinth areas. This area also can find out by walls of a building plus floor area of the room. Plinth area estimate is calculated by finding plinth area of a building and multiplying by the plinth area rate. Now we move to third one that is cube rate estimate. The cube rate estimate is a preliminary estimate and is prepared on the basis of the cubical content of the building. The cube rate building determined from the cost of the similar building having similar specification and construction in locality. This calculated by finding cubical content of the building that is length, breadth, height and multiplying it by cube rate. Now we will go to approximate quantity method estimate. In this method, approximate total length of the wall is found out by running meter and 
total length is multiplied by rate running rate per running meter of wall given fairly accurate cost for this method the plan or line plan of structure should be available this is the wall and we have to take a running length here i have shown in the figure the running length this running length we have to consider only i have shown here a wall similarly <coughs> all the walls of the building should be calculated and payment should be made on the running length of a particular wall here the detail estimate or item rate estimate detail estimate is a accurate estimate and consists of working out quantities of each item of work and working the cost detail estimate is in two stages stage one is detail of the measurement form and second one is abstract of estimate form so first is detail measurement calculation quantities the detail and measurement of each item of the work is taken out correctly from plan and drawing and quantities under each item of work are computed in tabular form the tabular form should be drawn in this following manner it should be consist of item number particulars particulars are nothing but what type of work is going to be done like excavation or or erecting a column whatever activity next is number how many number of columns are there or walls are there all those things you have to mention like two three four and number of walls length should be made how much is the length of whatever the activity if it is in excavation you have to take a length of excavation if you are in case of wall you have to take the length of wall breadth is also similar depth the quantity should be of a particular and the quantity and this quantity and this quantity you will get by multiplying number length breadth depth and you will get a quantity similarly this quantity we have to use an abstract estimate cost in this abstract estimate estimate cost the quantity what we have erected out in your previous table you have to put that quantity here you have to um, put the rate you have to multiply quantity and rate you will get amount how much amount of rate you will get and finally at the you have to add all because different different particulars will be there like excavation for um, cc bed will be there roof will be there column will be there wall will be there all thing each item you have to consider as a per, single single item and all the rate amount you have to add and the more important at the end you have to add 3 to 5 percent as contingency and for un unforeseen expenditure and 2 percent to meet expenditure of work charges establishment as a contractor profit as a you to be the end at the end of contractor and you will get a profit of 2 percent the detail estimate is accompanied with the report specification detail drawing showing the plans and different section key or index plans etc design data calculations and if you submit all those things finally you will get approved from any agencies to carry out the contractor work now you'll we'll see a revised estimate revised estimate is to prepare under any one of the following circumstances that is first one is when the original sanction estimate is exceeds or likely to exceeds by more than five percent when expended expenditure on the work exceed or likely to exceed amount of administrative section by more than 10 percent similarly you need to prepare a revised estimate when there is a material deviation from original proposal but not due to material division from a structural nature when it is found that sanction estimate is more than the actual requirement now we'll see a supplementary estimate 
is a detailed estimate and is prepared when additional work are required to supplement the original work or when further development is required during the progress of work. The abstract should show the amount of original estimate and the total amount including supplementary amount for which sanction is required. Supplementary and revised estimate. In this estimate, this, this estimate is prepared when it is necessary to re revise the original estimate due to increased volume of work as well as additional work are included. For such cases, a revised estimate is prepared for increased volume of original work and detailed estimate for supplementary work not included in the original schedule. The total amount of revised estimate include the amount for supplementary work also. Now we we'll move to annual repair and maintenance estimate. Annual repair and maintenance estimate is detailed estimate and it is prepared to maintain the structure or work in proper order and safe condition. For building this include whitewashing, color washing, paint, minor repairs etc. For road works, the estimate provides for patch repairing, renewals, repairs of bridge and culvert. The following are the some annual repair work list for the building. It includes painting work, waterproofing, that is terrace, bathroom or toilets, whatever it may be, relaying new type of flooring, flooring polish, Repair of plumbing and electric, electrical fixtures, minor repairs, etc. Whitewashing, color washing, distempering, supreme painting of external walls, or repairing doors, windows, and ventilators. That's all for now. Please follow us on YouTube. Quill Learning Platform as well as on Telegram Quill Learning Platform. The link will be given in the description. And if you like this video, please circulate among your friends. Stay safe and stay blessed. That's all for today's remaining portion of Estimate the Quantity Survey. Till then, take care.